Hi guys, it's Sam and I am back today with my August wrap up and September TBR. That's right, it is that time of the month again. Another month has passed us by and we are one month closer to fall, which makes me so happy because summer and me do not get along. Not a fan of summer, but I am a fan of fall, so that makes me happy. But that is not what this video is about. It is about what books I read in August and I read a total of eight books in August which makes me so happy because I've kind of been in a reading slump the past couple months and I only read like two or three each month in July and June and I'm quite happy that I read eight books. I'm quite excited. So now I am here to share them with you guys what books I finished in August. So the first book I finished in August was Rise of Empire by Michael J. Sullivan. I actually had uh, just under halfway through when I started August so I finished this one up. It is just as good as I remember to be. This was a reread for me. I was hoping to get to Air of Nova on this month, but it didn't quite happen. Hopefully next month, because I need to finish rereading this trilogy. I do, because I need to read the two prequel books, and it needs to happen soon. But I finished this guy, so that made me quite happy. The next book I finished in August was The Queen of the Tierling by Erica Johansson. I actually did a review video on this one, so I will link that down below so you guys can go and check that out. Overall, I believe I rated it 4 out of 5 stars. I wasn't too into this book. It wasn't bad, but it was still pretty good. I can see that the series holds a lot of promise. I'm interested to see where it goes from here. But it takes place far in our future, actually. So it takes place in our world, but it's far in the future after some cataclysmic event has happened and it follows a girl Kelsey who has been put in hiding since she was a young child to future to inherit the kingdom in the future and she has taken the age of 18 to her kingdom and to rule and um, she just basically finds her kingdom in turmoil. She tries to right a lot of the wrongs that have occurred during her absence while facing a potential war from a neighboring kingdom which is probably the worst synopsis ever but I do it better in my review video so again I'll link that down below. So that was the second book I read. The next three books I read were all three books, the first three books from the Percy Jackson Olympian series. So I read Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, Percy Jackson and the Sea of Monsters, and Percy Jackson and the Titan's Curse. So this is the first time I've ever read the Percy Jackson series, and I have to say, I really, really, really love these books. These are so good. I don't know why I waited so long to read them. I was really, really impressed with the writing. I thought it was actually really funny. These books are hilarious. I love it. Percy is... His sarcasm is just wonderful. Yeah, I just really enjoyed these stories. I'm hoping to read the fourth and fifth one next month. I know I'm like the last person on earth to read these, so I'm probably not going to really tell you much about them, so I'm sure you guys are all pretty familiar with them. But if you haven't read them yet, I highly suggest you do, because I can't even believe I waited this long. These are really good books, so I'm excited to read the last two. I heard the fourth one's really, really good. One of my friends this is his favorite. So I am excited to finish those. So yes, those are the next three books I read in September. Whoa, I didn't read these in September, I read them in August. I'm not a time traveler here. Whoa. The next book I picked up at long, long last was Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss. And when I went into reading this book, I was a little bit apprehensive because it had been so hyped up. And it's happened to me before I read a book that is so hyped up, I read it and I don't much care for it. But I have to say I was pleasantly surprised. I really, really enjoyed this book. It follows a young assassin, Selena, who is like the best assassin in this world. And she has been convicted to slave away in the salt mines in this kingdom. But she's taken away by the prince and the captain of his guard to fight in his the prince's father's tournament, so she has to kill 26 other murderers, thieves, assassins, whoever that other nobles have sponsored to become the king's champion. If she's the last one standing, she becomes the king's champion and after four years can earn her freedom. So it just shows her and how she goes about doing that. This mystery that's happening in this castle, these people are mysteriously dying. She, uh, sort of a love triangle between her, the prince, and the captain of the guard. It's just really, really interesting. I really, really enjoyed this book. It was a super fun read and I cannot wait to pick up the next books in the series. I gave Throne of Glass four out of five stars, I think, or five out of five stars. I don't remember. I'll have to look. So yes, I was pleasantly surprised, and I'm still in love with this cover. It's pretty, is it not? It's pretty. It's pretty. The next book I picked up and finished in August was Assassin's Curse by Cassandra Rose Clark. So this book follows a young pirate princess who is being forced to marry a fellow clan's son against her will. She ultimately ends up running away on her wedding day, and the 
her betrothed family sends an assassin after her in which something happens between her and the assassin that either of them were expecting that sends them on a journey throughout the rest of the book. Again, I did a review video on this one, which I will link down below, which if you watch it, I'm really, really sorry because it had I had rendering issues and I didn't realize it until after it was already uploaded, so the screen flickers through a lot of the video, so I apologize for that. That has to be one of the most annoying things to happen. Why? And I gave it three out of five stars. I wasn't that impressed as some were with the story, but I am intrigued enough to read the second book, and I'm hoping that it will get better from there. I hear that you kind of need both of them to really get the whole story and to judge them as a whole, so I will pick that up next month, I'm hoping. At least I'm going to buy it. I'm not sure if I'll read it, but yeah, it wasn't too bad. It was a fun read, so I don't regret reading it. The last book I read in August was The Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson. I absolutely loved this book book. I will have a review video up soon for this. I gave it five out of five stars. I really, really, really like this book. I mean, it's endorsed by Tamora Pierce, who is one of my favorite authors. She says, it's engrossing. And Tamora Pierce, you are not lying. It was, in fact, engrossing. I should have known right away as soon as I saw it was endorsed by her that I would love this book. And I did. I can't even believe I waited this long to read it. And I cannot wait to pick up the next books in this series. I'm so excited. I love you. I love you. You are so good. Definitely one of my favorite books of this year. I just, I can't. just really liked it. It was a good fantasy, guys. It was good. But I assure you, if you have not read this and you love fantasy, and you especially fantasy with a female heroine, I strongly suggest that you read this book because it was excellent. The next two books I started in August, I didn't finish, but I'm, I will finish in September. I started, started the Doctor Who The Forgotten Graphic Novel, and I believe these were originally published in Doctor Who magazine, but they were compiled into one book. And so far, it's really, really good. It's really, really interesting. All of the doctors are in this because basically Ten lost his memory, and he's in this museum about his life and little things that helping him remember events that happened in his past and help him to regain his memories so he can figure out where his TARDIS went and why him and Martha are stuck here. It's really, really cool. The illustrations are pretty cool. It changes because several different artists helped to compile this whole story, but all the art is pretty cool and I just have been really enjoying it, so I'll be finishing this one soon. The next book I just started last night, and today is August 31st, um, so I only got one chapter read, but I finally started Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. That's not the Order of the Phoenix, this is Half-Blood Prince. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I started Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I was hoping to read this in August, but it didn't quite happen. I got distracted by all those other lovely books, but I will be finishing this in September. I'm hoping I might get to um, Deathly Hallows, I'm not quite sure yet. It depends on what other books catch my interest. I've been rereading these books since January though, and I've never reread Harry Potter this slowly, so I'm kind of embarrassed, but yeah. So I started this one, and this is my favorite cover of the new paperbacks. It's just pretty. I know I've showed this book off like a lot, but I just can't help but not. It's cool. So now on to my September TBR. As I said before, I, as I just said, I will be reading Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince because I've already started. I'll be finishing that Doctor Who graphic novel. I also will be hoping to read the last two books in the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. So the Percy Jackson and the Battle of Labyrinths and Percy Jackson and the Last Olympian. As you guys may have seen from my prior video, I am one of the members of the Book Hunters Read Along group and we will be announcing our choices on September 1st for you guys to go and join. So make sure to look down in the box for the link to our Goodreads group and Twitter page and make sure that you join the Goodreads group so you can vote in the poll for a help us to choose our contemporary book for September because that is our theme. So whatever book wins, I will also be reading that book in the month of September. Hopefully it will be winger wink wink at the one I'm choosing so look out for that I'll have that video up tomorrow as I said before my TBR tends to change a lot so I'm not quite sure what I'll read in September I'm hoping to get to a lot of books again like I did this month and if I do I'm really hoping to finally read Eric Novron by Michael J Sullivan because I've been wanting to finish rereading this series for a couple months now, so I'm hoping to finish this one in September as well. And if other books don't capture my attention, I also really want to get to The Once and Future King by T.H. White, which is his retellings of Arthurian legends, and I've heard great things about this, and I want to read it because it's cool, and I love King Arthur, so yeah. Alright guys, that is my August wrap-up from September TBR. Let me know down in the comments what you guys have read in the month of August and what you're hoping to get to in September. Also, let me know if you've read any of these lovely books and what your thoughts were on them. And until next time, guys, as always, happy reading and bye!